The culture is very like everything needs to be done now. Yeah, that's what we are doing. This country is open to innovation. Silicon Valley is so synonymous with opportunity. Starting your own business is like the ultimate achievement. There's no time to wait or waste. Silicon Valley is a state of mind. Well, part of the government support is staying out of their way. Even the craziest idea is going to get a hearing. All that gets thrown into this mix, which has led to, I think, a lot of the success that we have. Wede Silicon Valley simetu alamachile simacho jigegenne ne thrilli kubani yochni agenyalu. Katamo Silicon Valley ya thrilli. Billion dollar roch mink asa kasupat ya kubani ya roch mek kame chanat. Zilegen le billet lo miga ba Silicon Valley masarat billion dollar roch sahono ya billion dollar ya fatara hasa roch nacho. Alam achiden indium. Alamin ya min nae bet min es arik ayaru na Facebook, Google, Twitter, Skype na le roch drijutosh ban rokt hasa be na baru na bet nish bota bet nish garaj ste te jamaru na baru. Silicon Valley, anestanya nak kaki ni teknologi we startup ya teknologi kubali oj, anda tidak misaru kami garis jajar bau ni ya masa yang cional. Silicon Valley, ya rasionya ya telah ia mesti Gabriel Lobotano. Zi botah si mentu kegusuh hujju ya teknologi kubali oj cuci, kena jemari hunten ya fatara kubali oj cara cum. Ba akal ya kubali ya ini nau ya milut menegar elam. Bayar pun nama tak cakap fikir, bayar mana rabi tu na, ye makina mak omeh kara jujur, naga alamat cina di kayu rumit lu, ye fat aras rasgin, ye alamat kuarat iya tak kena wunu na. The real Silicon Valley are in those startups, the next big thing to happen, the next generation of entrepreneurs, that's the real Silicon Valley, and they don't really have a physical presence. You can go into a local coffee shop and see three or four tables with groups of men and women around sitting at a computer and they're starting a company. And you get very used to it. And that's the real Silicon Valley because Silicon Valley is always about tomorrow and not about today or yesterday. So they're here. They just don't have like huge offices like those, those companies, right? But they're here, they're all around. Like you walk down the street, it's probably like 30 startups between here and the next couple of blocks. Azim itu zaman itu Israel bahal betul memang dokumen nayo itu kita lagi nayo. Kesrana Israel itu abzanya itu lila hidup di lachom. Kat waktu lesat, sekar Israel saat press bermil bag ini semen saat Israel kau kita masih ram. Ia masih rupat buta, pulau mader la abzanya ia silkan vali Israel tengah kita lama dengu. Bezuhanu menurut itu lachom lewat sayut biruat just ia seru masih tu negal. Zi ia fikir rasa ben, orang lemah drag ia masfil gunulu masuk ati nanti kefalat. Naga alamat cina ia mikirna, ia mas demem ia fikir rasa rawa lebih lemon mana cium tengi tua rum. Well, everybody's in a hurry. First thing is, most people are young, so they're in a hurry. The second thing is, technology doesn't wait. It's moving along so fast that if you get an idea and you want to build a company. You don't have much time. I remember going to Google in the early days, and um, the employees would just, they'd work all day, then they go out to dinner, then they come back, and some guys were actually sleeping on the floor of their offices and putting in, I don't know, 20 hours a day, you know, writing code, doing all that kind of stuff. Being an entrepreneur is a, it's exciting, but it's a lot of hard work. I mean. You you kind of give up your life and dedicate yourself to your company, but on the other hand, if you have the prospect of changing the world, isn't that a lot more exciting than going out and watching a movie or hanging out with your friends? The culture is very like everything needs to be done now. You know, there's a sense of urgency here in general in in Silicon Valley and in San Francisco that there's no time to wait or waste.
when you really want something and when you are passionate about something, you just like work. አብዛኞቹ ተደብቀው ነው የሚሰሩት የቱ ጋር ምን ተአምር እየፈጠሩ እንዳሉ ማየት ያደርጋል። እነዚህ አነስተኛ ድርጅቶች ትልቅ ሐሳብ ይዘው ቀን ከሌሊት ሳይሉ ይሰራሉ። ከነዚህ ሲልከን ቫሊ የጀርባ አጥንት የሆኑት የስታርትአፕ ወይም አነስተኛ የቴክኖሎጂ የፈጠራ ስራ ድርጅቶችና የፈጠራ ባለሙያዎች ከመጋረጃ ጀርባ እንዴት እንደሚሰሩ ለማየት እድሉን አቅጨ ነበር። የተወሰኑት ላስተዋቃቹ ዩኑስ በሻውረድ ከኢትዮጵያን ቤተሰቦች የተገኘና ቶልዶ አደገው በዋሽንግተን ዲሲ ነው። ትምርቱን እንደጨረሰ ለአንድ አነስተኛ የቴክኖሎጂ ኩባንያ ለመስራት ነበር ወደ ሳን ፍራንሲስኮ ያቀናው። በሚሰራው ስራና በሚያገኘው ገቢ ደስተኛ ቢሆንም ሲልከን ቫሊ ላይ ተቀምጦ ተቀጣሪ ሆኖ መቀጠል ግን ፈጽሞ ምርጫው ነበር። ሐሳቡ ሁሉ ምን ባደርግ ለውጥ ማምጣት ይችላል ሆነ ክፍተት አለበት ብሎ የሚያስባቸውን መስኮች ሁሉ በጥልቀት ማጥናት ስራው አደረገው የምጣለት የፈጠራ ሐሳብ በዚህ በተጣጣፈ የቴክኖሎጂ ገበያ ውስጥ ትልቅ አስተዋጽኦ ማድረግ የሚችልና ያለውን ክፍተት መሙላት የሚችል ነበርና በፍጥነት ወደ ስራ ቀየረው ማይ ኔም ኢዝ ዮናስ በሻውር ዲ ኮምፓኒ ኢዝ ኮልድ ስታክሼር um stackshare.io በቴክኖሎጂ የስራ ፈጠራ ላይ የተሰማሩ ኩባንያዎች ስራቸውን ሲጀምሩ ምን አይነት ሶፍትዌር ወይም የኮምፒውተር ቋንቋ መተግበሪያ መጠቀም እንዳለባቸው መጀመሪያ ላይ ለመውሰድ ይቸገራሉ። እና ይህንን መረጃ በቀላሉ የሚያገኙበትና ከሌሎች የኮምፒውተር ሶፍትዌር ወይም መተግበሪያ ባለሙያዎች ጋር በመወያየት መልስ ሊያገኙበት የሚችሉትን ማህበራዊ ድረገጽ ነው ዮናስ የገነባው ስታክሼር የሚሰራው ሊክ እንደነ ሊንክድኢን ወይም የልብ ማህበራዊ ድረገጾች ባለሙያዎች ወይም ተጠቃሚዎች የሚወያዩበትና ልምዳቸውን የሚያካፍሉበት መድረክ መክፈት ነው በስታክሼር ማህበራዊ ድረገጽ ላይ ቢገቡ ትላልቆቹ እንደነ አማዞን ፌስቡክ ኢቤና ሌሎችም ድረገጾች ምን አይነት የኮምፒውተር ቋንቋና ሶፍትዌር እንደሚጠቀሙ በቀላሉ መረጃውን ማግኘትና የትኛው የተሻለ እንደሚሆን ማወዳደር ይችላሉ። ሌላው ይህን ድረገጽ የተለየ የሚያደርገው ለግዙፎቹ ኩባንያዎች ድረገጽ የሰሩና የሚሰሩ የኮምፒውተር ምህንድስና ባለሙያዎች ልምድና አስተያየትን ማግኘት ይችላሉ። And we basically help software developers figure out which tools to use to build apps, websites and infrastructure. የስታክሼር ድረገጽን የትኛው ማለም ላይ የሚገኝ የኮምፒውተር መሃንዲስ በነጻ መጥቀም ይችላል አሁን ላይ ስታክሼር ላይ መመዝገብ የሚችሉት የኮምፒውተር መሃንዲስና ባለሙያዎች ብቻ ናቸው ይህንን ማድረግ የፈለገበት ምክንያት ምን እንደሆነ ጠይቀው ነበር ሊክ እንደነ ፌስቡክ ሲጀምሩ ለሃርቫርድ ተማሪዎች ብቻ እንደነበረ ሁሉ ቀስ በቀስ ሌሎች ባለሙያዎችም እንዲገቡ በሂደት እንደሚሰሩ ነበር የነገረኝ ከተጀመረ አራት አመታት ይሆናል ይሄው ድረገጽ ገቢውን የሚያገኘው ከማስተዋቂያ ነው ቦር እስከ 200ሺ የሚደርሱ ሰዎች ድረገጹን ይጎበኛሉ። ዮናስ የጀመረው ስታክሼር ኩባንያ አሁን ላይ 7 ሚሊዮን የአሜሪካ ዶላር በብር ስንተረጉሞ ደሞ ወደ 224 ሚሊዮን ብር ከኢንቨስተሮች ማሰብ አሰብ ይችላል። የዩጎሚ መስራች ማኒሎ ዲያዝና ባልደረባው የፈጠራ ሐሳብ የመጣላቸው በጋጣሚ ነበር። በአግራቸው ሜክሲኮ ለተለያዩ ኩባንያዎች የሚሆኑ ሶፍትዌሮችን ወይም የኮምፒውተር ቋንቋ መተግበሪያ በመስራት ተደደሩ ነበር የመጀመሪያው ሐሳባቸው ተማሪዎች እንደ ሂሳብ ሳይንስ ጂኦግራፊና ሌሎች የትምርት አይነቶችን ማስተማር የሚችል ሶፍትዌር ለመስራት ነበር በዚህ ደት ውስጥ ይያሉ ልጆች እንዴት ሊወዱትና እየተዝናኑ መማር እንደሚችሉ አጠኑ በተለይ ደግሞ አሁን አሁን በርካታ ልጆች የቪዲዮ ጌሞችን በመጫወት ረጅም ሰዓታትን ያሳልፋሉ እና ማኔሉ የሚያደርጉት ትምርትን ከቪዲዮ ጌሞች ጋር ማጣመር ነበር ለክ እንደተለመዱት ቪዲዮ ጌሞች ልጆች የሚወዱትን ካራክተር ወይም ገጸ ባህሪ መርጠው መጫወት ይችላሉ። በመጫወቱበት ጊዜ ተጨማሪ ህይወት እንዲኖራቸውና የተለያዩ መሳሪያዎችን ለመግዛት የሂሳብ እና የሳይንስ ጥያቄዎችን በትክክል መመለስ ይኖርባቸዋል። ዲጎሚ ድረገጽ አሁን ላይ ቦር ከመስ ሚሊየን በላይ ተጠቃሚ ልጆች አሉት። ይህን ድረገጽ ለመጠቀም ቦር ከ4 ዶላር ጀምሮ ያስከፍላሉ። My name is Manolo Diaz and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Yogomi. One of our clients was a private school. We sold them this idea of creating uh, online interactive content for their students so when they go home 
they can continue uh, uh, doing exercises. Uh, they got excited about the idea, we, we started creating the content, parents were super happy and kids were super engaged. Technovision is a great technology for the technology. The technology is a great technology for the technology. The technology is a great technology for the technology. The technology is a great technology for the technology. The technology is a great Perkata Hagaruch, Yemikanu, what Atena, Tadagisituchin, the technology fed around Etlamabkat, a Yesare Kingal. The program is basically the largest technology entrepreneurship program for young girls between the ages to 10 to 18. We are global. What we do in this program is we have a curriculum which supports girls to think about a problem in their community, any local problem and create an app idea to solve that problem. And then we guide them to create a prototype of that app on MIT's app and mentor platform, and finally a business plan. Silken Valley Lai, and the Mesta Lutnegger, Abzanya Utat, Little Lick Cooper, Yostek at Rokamis Ratlik, Yerasun, Anastinia, Richard Kaftumis Ratri Mertal, Tratuch in the Mamelek Kutkone, Hamsa and Bemato, Yemunut, Betelaye, Yes Razerf, the Samarto Mikinut. America has a great time to get the money to get the money to get the money to get the money to get the you know, when you get to a corporate environment, you're not able to really create things the same way. So, um, that's what kind of just made me feel like I wanted to do my own company. Starting your own business is like the ultimate achievement. And Silicon Valley here is the very embodiment of that. That the dream of everybody is not to be a big time powerful businessman, but to start your own company and build it into something special. A lot of people don't really like working for big companies. They always they keep migrating back to little companies because that, that excitement of creating something from nothing and doing everything. Befit befit, ye aradan at Melekiana, aradami palut atuch, ye music abanda valhunu, we bemesnanya industrious, lametauk imit at arut atush ne peru. Aun onkin, zia kabila, ye aradan at Turkum, ye tek a yere, ya le, ye meslal ne pereling, bezagenot, and tazabi. Aun lay, aradami palut, ye addisfet rasa palabetununa. If I was 20 years old, I'd be starting a company right now. Uh, why? Because what else am I doing? Am I going to go work making, making coffee in a coffee shop for five years till I finally get a job at a big company? Why don't I just take between 20 and 30, you know, if I have to live in my car, try to start some companies? Maybe one will work. If one of them works, I can retire when I'm 40. But I won't because I'm so addicted to it, I'll just keep making new companies. Uh, Jeff Bezos with Amazon is one of them, for example. Uh, uh, Apple with, uh, with Jobs, uh, Microsoft with Gates, people want to emulate that. And so um, I see that a lot of these kids want to do this. This is what I'm Maninetum Hone, Mininetum Turk my set em. Katadagi, as Casabo treat me Kilust, Yemikenu, Yesra Safet Aruchin, as Yaginalu. Manim, Mane, Mindinao em Kate name at Doglite Akem. Silkam values, Turkumiallo, Yemetasabo, Yefet Arasabana, Hasabin, Ola Madrek, Yemetid Pacho, Mengadus Pichanacho. You don't even have to be a great technologist anymore. You know, you can be an artist, you can be a a writer, you can be a marketing person. It doesn't matter, just find a technologist, take your great idea, team up with them, start a company together, have them do the software, have them write the code, you come up with the idea, you take care of marketing it. Look at the people who founded the social networking revolution, the Facebooks and the Twitters and all of that. Most of them don't know anything about technology. They were graduate students in English or writing, or philosophy, 
because you don't have to be a technologist to, to play in this game now. So I give it a shot. What else are you doing? What else are you doing in your 20s? Why not try it? I think everyone should be an entrepreneur. I think everyone should be an entrepreneur in some way, shape, or form. Yeah, that's what we are doing. We came here, we connected, and then we took investment to hire more people in Mexico and continue building the company. I'm like back and forth between Mexico City and San Francisco, so this balance, uh, making sure that you are up to uh, date with what's going on in Silicon Valley, but then executing in Mexico is a good mix that is working for us right now. Zarele, American, be economy mone la alam baber ketachu. Ye technology with etuch genane ader regat, nezi be ye garaju yet serrealu, ye fetara sabuchin no etuch nacho. Be technology seraust yalutu tatuchum, hulum neger, tesser tual qual below, ten yetu medrade loom. Negen yet shale la madreg, ye ma quarret yakuchin mit ayukuna, ye mimera meru, serafet adu tatuchinji. Hulum, be mahabere sabuna, bakawa betulai keftetale below, ye mesu betimbuta. بفت اراس را مفتی لمستدی مکرالو. So for us, it's all about everyone's building these startups, right? But how do you actually go about doing that from a technical perspective, right? Like where do you put your website? You know, what language do you use to build your mobile app? Um, is there a way for you to see like who's using your app at a specific time for, for analytics, um, how do you handle payments if you want to charge people to, to, to buy your app, how do you handle payments? All of those questions, um, that's what we help you answer. We help you see what uh, all these different companies are using. We're filling a gap where everyone's building these startups but no one knows which tools to use, right, how to piece them together. And that's where we come in. We show you how to piece them together and what successful companies are doing. We think each kid in the world deserves a quality education. So our idea is to complement what kids see at school. And for those who don't have the chance maybe to go to the school, to, to, have, to find ways to deliver quality educational content to them. Right now, technology is crossing uh, every border and that's important. So we want to make sure that this content has the best quality in order to help kids achieve uh, better uh, grades. So they go and use the different uh, content. So for example, okay, let me go. So for example here, all the mini games. So for example here, kids have to jump whenever they see the correct answer. So for oh. example, that those are not, so I have to avoid incorrect answers and find the correct answer. So learning is fun. Yeah. The, this country is open to innovation. Uh, if you can come up with a new idea, I mean, Steve Jobs, is, rest his soul, is a good example. Um, I mean, we wouldn't have laptops if it wasn't for his willingness to try, be laughed at, and keep trying, you know. So. That's part of, I think, something we prize. Uh, people who persevere against the odds. If they have an idea, even if somebody else doesn't like it, but they feel confident that if they could just make it happen. And that's what entrepreneurship's all about. Looking and observing and finding out what it is you can, what it is you can add value to. They're, they're driven. They're obsessive. They're driven and they're willing to almost kill themselves to make their company work. That's the character of an entrepreneur. In this startup, we have technology that is not a good thing. We have to get to the market, to the market, and to the market, and to the market. We have to get to the market, and to the market, and to 
እዚ መታየት አዳራሽ ውስጥ አንድ ጠረጴዛ ይዘው ነው እየሰሩ የሚገኙት በ500 ስታርትአፕ ስር ለክ እንደነሱ ያሉ 30 በተለያየ የፈጠራ ስራ ላይ የተሰማሩ የስታርትአፕ ኩባንያዎችን እዚ አዳራሽ ውስጥ ያገኛሉ 500 startups that's where we are right now um we went through the accelerator because um they saw some of the initial traction we got and some of the initial um excitement and uh, they were interested in it and they invested and we went through their program and then eventually raised money and hired people and did all that we we got into a, an incubator in 2012 we got into 500 startups in mountain view uh you receive money to move to silicon valley and start working and start uh thinking about how to grow your company how to take your product to more users all over the world and working with them you get access to these mentors ሁሉ ነገር በፍጥነት የሚንቀሳቀስበት ሳን ፍራንሲስኮ የቴክኖሎጂ እና ሳይንስ ፈጠራ ስራዎችና ፈጣሪዎች የነገሱባት ከተማ ከዚያን ስቶ ሳንታ ክላራ ወይም ሲልከን ቫሊ ድረስ የሚሆኑን ክፍል እነሱ በኤሪያ ይሉታል እዚ ሁሉም የፈጠራ ሐሳቡን ይሞክራል ነገሮች እንዳሰውት ውጤታማ ባይሆንም አልተሳካም ብሎ የሚያስን ግን የለም ሌላ ቦታ ላይ ያልተለመደ ነገርና የሚያስገርም ባህል ሆኖ ያገኘውትም አለመሳካትን የሚያውበት መንጻር ነው እዚ አንድ ነገር ሞክሮ አለመሳካት የሚሽማቀቁበት ሳይሆን የሚኮሩበት ልምድ ነው እና ማንንም አዲስ ነገር ለመሞከርና ለመውደቅ አይፈራም ከስተት ተምሮ ወድቆ መነሳት የሚከበርና የሚበረታታው ኔታ ነው እስቲ ስንቶቻችንን ወደቅና አለመሳካት ፈርተን ያሰብነው ሳናደርክ የምንአልፈው አይ ቲንክ ዘ ወርልድስ ቪው ኦፍ ኦፍ ዚስ ፌልየር ቲንግ ኢዝ አ ሊትል ቢት ሚስጋይደድ ዩ ካን ፌል ኢን ሲሊኮን ቫሊ ኢን ሜክሲኮ ዘ ኢኮሲስቴም ኢዝ ስሞለር ሶ ሰምታይምስ ኤ አይ ዶንት ኖ ዚስ ጋይስ ፌልድ is not like the same mindset in Mexico and Silicon Valley. Almost unique to the world is rewarded. We reward good failure here. Here, if you fail good, you get up the next morning and start another company. And when you look at founder of Uber Travis Kalanick, he failed many times, right? And nobody talks about that because all that matters is the success. You learn to uh support your children when they fail at something. and help them get up and start over again if you watch babies they, when they start walking they're always falling but if you start crying with them they start crying if you say oh good job and hug them and embrace them they'll start again it's like it never happened if you're not afraid to fail then you shouldn't be in business i've never fired someone for making a bad decision i've just fired people for not making any decisions at all ሲልከን ቫሊ በብዙ ነገሮች ከሌሎች አካባቢዎች ሁሉ የተለየ እንደሆነ ብዙዎች መሰክሩለታል በአለማችን ላይ ያሉ የተለያዩ ሀገሮች ሲልከን ቫሊ በሀገራቸው ላይ ለመፍጠር የተለያዩ ምክራዎችን አድርገዋል ነገር ግን እስካሁን ይህንን ቦታ ይወዳደር የሚችል ማዕከል የትኛው ሀገር መገንባት አልቻለም በጣት የሚቆጠሩ 10 አመታት ወዲ የሲልከን ቫሊ የቴክኖሎጂ ማዕከልነት እየገነነና ሀገር አሜሪካም በቴክኖሎጂ ፈጠራ ውጤት ዓለማችንን እየመረሽ ትገኛለች የቴክኖሎጂ መሪ ለመሆን ያቻላቸው ምንድነው ያብዛኞቻችን ጥያቄ መስለኛል ትምህርት ባል ወይም ጠንካራ ኢኮኖሚ መኖር ብለን ግምት ልንወስድ እንችላለን አይ ቲንክ ዘ ዩናይትድ ስቴትስ ኢዝ ኢዝ ሰች አ ሃርድ ቤድ ፎር ኢንተርፕሪነርሺፕ ፈርስት ቢካዝ ዊ ሃቭ ዳት ኮልቸር ዳት ኦልድ ፋሽን ፕሮቴስታንት ኤቲክ ኦፍ ዎርኪንግ ሃርድ ኤንድ ቢንግ ኢንዲፔንደንት ኤንድ ኦል ዳት ሰከንድ ቲንግ ዋዝ አ a lot of technology development at the beginning of the 20th century centered around Boston and here Stanford University we had some great entrepreneurs here that came out of Stanford like Hewlett and Packard they built the first companies aerospace was here at Lockheed and Ames Research Center which is NASA that was all here so everything was in place in the 1950s and then after World War II the GI generation they were looking for careers in technology so they came here so there was a body of people so you have a great university stanford you have a body of technology trained young people that want to do something and the final touch was enough companies got going that some money became available and that was venture capital in the 1960s put all that together boom 
it takes off. The education system in our country teaches us to question things, to be creative, um, to not take the status quo. How can we make things better? So at a very young age, we're taught to question things, to be vocal, to, uh, to follow our dreams, that we're responsible for the destiny of our lives. Over our period of history in the United States, we've been a place that's been welcoming to other people. And it ties into to places such as Ethiopia and, and other countries in Africa. Immigration, research institutions, risk-taking capital, um, uh, people who are just uh, risk, you know, not risk averse. They're able to start companies and want to do that. All that gets thrown into this mix, which has led to, I think, a lot of the success that we have. Well, I think as a nation, early on, um, the early settlers from Europe who came here uh, did not have anybody to show them the way. In order to be successful, those early settlers had to depend on themselves. Those who survived taught the next generation and the next generation and the next generation. Now we formalize that uh, process with institutions like universities and churches so that when you're coming up in an institution in the United States then you learn how to negotiate comp competition, how to negotiate rejection. It's easy to start a business. It's easy to close a business though too. So there's a lot of churn in the small business side of the economy um, that allows people to, to try out ideas and see if they work. Well, part of the government support is staying out of their way. Um, so that, I think, is, is a fairly fundamental strength of the government. Um, there are sectors where the government provides some additional support. Um, you know, we have uh, laboratories through the Department of Energy that help provide technical support to people who are developing you know, new energy solutions or new tech solutions where they need, you know, additional um, lab resources that are very expensive to fund. So the government can, can support that, but the moment they get to uh, a point where they could commercialize, they're on their own. You take a bobal, fetran me pertatana, mokromodic, and ye my fera, to lit in fetral. Are this if at Rasa would chill a macabel, the good jumunna, ye mamoker and jum jamari, pal erauchin, ye ma pertat at baldamo, lenezulu, alamelek a yeru, ye fet ras roach, sikita mamuna, a zimetres magnatunal. Lilus putosh lie, litas so white room in Palasa watch. That's part of the culture here. You have to think about uh, the founding of the early settlers that were coming from Europe here. Uh, it was crazy to get on a ship going to some place you don't know. You have no one who's a relative there and you think you're going to make it. <laughs> That's crazy, right? <laughs> but people did that because they felt there was hope in the future. Even the craziest idea is going to get a hearing. You know, you can get people to listen to you. You can get venture capitalists to think about investing in you because you've got this crazy idea, but crazy ideas just might work. I mean, cars driving themselves, who would have thought that we'd have cars driving themselves, you know, now? And yet I can go out there on the freeway and watch a Google car go by and there's, there's a driver, but he's not touching the steering wheel. It's driving itself. Uh, the idea that people would create their own web pages and, and talk to other people around the world and show pictures of their vacations and all that. Facebook, look at Facebook. Uh, I can remember when the idea of people having their own computer was crazy. Why would anybody want a computer? What are you going to do on it when you get home? you know, add giant sums of numbers. The consensus out there among big companies, especially on the East Coast, was nobody's ever going to need a computer. So these two kids come along and say, well, no, we want a personal computer. We'll figure out what to do with it once we get it. A crazy idea. And now here we are. We not only, we're, we're already past personal computers, and now we have a computer on our phone. So the idea of carrying around a computer in your pocket and talking to everybody in the world and watching movies that was a crazy idea too. So you got to be 
open to crazy ideas, and you've got to be wary of safe ideas. Safe companies don't make it here. If you try to do what everybody else is doing, you're going to fail. You got to do something different. And so we flipped it over again. ቦታ ላይ ሲቆም በግል የመታዘበ ቻል ኩት ልክ እንደ መካከለኛው ዘመን ባሮፓ እንደነበረው ሬኔሳንስ ወይም የመታደስ አብዮት የዘመናችን የቴክኖሎጂ አብዮት ደግሞ በሲልከን ቫሊ እየተካሄደ እንዳለ ነው እንግዲህ ሲልከን ቫሊ የተመሰረተው እዚ ቦታ ላይ ነው የስታንፎርድ ዩኒቨርሲቲ አስተማሪ ነበሩት ዶክተር ፍሬድሪክ ቴልማን ተማራቻቸው ትልቅ ድርጅቶች ተቀጥረው ከሚሰሩ የራሳቸውን ፈጠራ ውጤት እንዲያቀርቡ ያበረታቷቸው ነበር ከነዛ ውስጥም ደግሞ ሁለት ተማሪዎቻቸው ሄልዌትና ፓካርድ የመጀመሪያ ስራቸው የመጀመሪያ ፈጠራ ስራቸው እዚች እምታዩት ጋራጅ ውስጥ ነው የጀመሩት ማለት ነው አሁን ላይ ብዙ ወጣቶች ብዙ የፈጠራ ባለሙያዎች ወደ ሲልከን ቫሊ መምጣትና ስራቸው መጀመር የሚፈልጉበት ምክንያት ምን እንደሆነ so many other startups right there's a lot of investors there's a lot of people that want to work for startups so a lot of potential employees a lot of people that can help you with your startup right like the whole ecosystem is here why don't we try to do this as big as we can uh, how about going to silicon valley where all the tech companies uh, are based and just try to connect there and see if we can have help funding mentorship from experienced uh, people in silicon valley and then see how far we can get our product in the world we wanted to create a global a global company and to create a global company i think it's the best to have a presence here in silicon valley silicon valley is more an open space for new ideas which might be considered kind of borderline crazy if you go elsewhere and talk but you have a community of investors and users be more open to working on it and experimenting it I can't think of any place in the world where you can go where you can sit in a, a restaurant or sit in a movie theater and everyone's talking technology and the advertisements in the movie theater before the movie are for hiring technology people and the newspapers are full of stories about electronic startup companies it's just in the air here it's in the water you breathe technology and entrepreneurship silicon valley ya alamachin ye technology maakal qadami maakal selamono bizoch yimesakkerulatal bizo wotatochim hasab yallacho na yefeter hasab yallacho sewoch hasabachon on lemarreg lemasakat wede silicon valley negudallu ezi mitagenyawacho be silicon valley mitagenyawacho yefetera balemayochinna balerayoch silicon valley mindinno bilachu bitayiqwacho silicon valley astesasabno we state of mind now yilochwal ማንኛውም ሰው የትኛው ማገር ላይ የትኛው ቦታ ላይ ያለ ሰው ሲልከን ቫሊን ኦን ለማድረግ ግዴታ ሲልከን ቫሊ ውስጥ መኖር የለበትም የሚል አስተሳሰብ ነው እዚህ ያለው silicon valley is a state of mind it's that attitude that combination of risk taking looking forward we never look backwards in silicon valley we're always looking for the next big thing mindset to 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 grow and to solve not only local but global problems silicon valley is so synonymous with opportunity you can just go in you have so many opportunities and you can excel abzanyochu indemismamobet silicon valley ya astasasab utet kone yenenu temkro hagerachin lay megembat ichalalwe tiyake neba you could build a silicon valley anywhere in the 1950s and 60s the consensus was you could build a silicon valley anywhere well we build a lot of them Silicon Alley, Silicon Forest, Silicon Glen in Ireland. And uh, the fact of the matter is it's harder than it looks. And I think there's several other prerequisites. One of them is you've got to have enough technology people. If you just have 10% of the people in the area doing entrepreneurship and technology and everybody else is working in agriculture or something like that, it's hard to get that critical mass of people. Another thing is you got to have fairly high levels of education. Hewlett Packard as it grew built divisions around the world. And they learned very quickly that they had to put a division near 
a major university that had a good technology program because people have to stay educated in the state of the art in technology to stay competitive. So a critical mass of people, good infrastructure, uh, a university nearby, and then money. Colombia is a, a Medellin is a, is a city that was known for the drug cartel. I, you're very young, but Pablo Escobar was in Medellin. There were a lot of drugs. It was a city that was very troubled. Um, and they got rid of, the, the tw over 20 years ago, uh, they got rid of this drug situation. They invested in education. And is, you should look it up, it's one of the poster safest cities, much highly educated cities in the world. They focus on education, highly educated. Uh, and the citizens of Medellin came together um, and it's, it's an amazing place now. So of course, anything is possible with education. You gotta get rid of corruption, you gotta get rid of you got to get rid of all, and then focus on education, focus on the family unit, and anything is possible. This country, this is what they've, they've done. They focus on education, they focus on family unit. Anybody can work. It's very important. <laughs> Kamen and Belai, Lisa Rapid Mika Bagudeno. Yitin Yom Habera's a wust, Betiknojim Hone, Belilazer, Yisrafet Arina, Tamara Mari, Yumsa Uchalu. Mangadu Katamachalacho, Fetaran, Bemia Bertata, Mertzrat Katagazuna, Yibirocrasin Kavatuch, Kak and Nasulacho, Nege, Alemanimik Eirasab, Onimeder Gu, Itopioet, Wet Atuchin, Mafrati Manchilipet, Minimaknati Lem. It all starts there, it starts in these small enterprises. If I give you a platform to start your own little business, that little business becomes a medium business, becomes a large business becomes a global business. That's where it starts. That's why it's important to do these you know, micro loans. You know, it's important to invest in education so that these little businesses and villages become larger businesses and will fuel the economy of Ethiopia. Absolutely. The next Mark Zuckerberg is not going to come from Silicon Valley, I don't think. I think he's going to come from Africa. Well, we picked a lot of brains here already. I think there's a lot of there's a lot of undeveloped creative talent in a lot of those countries. Africa is untapped, you know. But everybody has a phone in Africa, you know. I've seen, I've been on street corners in uh, in Zambia, and there's a cardboard box, and they're selling time on eBay. You know, you don't have to have a store anymore. You can sell your items on eBay. And they don't have anything, but they have a cell phone. And they rent that out to people. So the cell phone is everywhere. Plus, you know, we have an old-fashioned copper wire phone system. In certain parts of Africa, you don't even have copper wire. You're going, you've gone straight to the air. You've gone to wireless. So your infrastructure in many ways is more advanced than ours. So everything's there. It's just an entrepreneurial willingness to get out there and play in that worldwide global internet economy. You don't have to become a unicorn. You don't have to become the next Uber or the next Airbnb or, 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 or such. You don't have to have a billion dollar company. You can start small. You can start you know, enough to, to, with a bunch of your friends to get together and you work after hours and you start creating something. Maybe it's something on a website. Maybe it's, maybe it's um, uh, buying and selling. Whatever it happens to be, you can manufacture something small, have a good idea, improve on a product that's already out there, but you see some incremental improvement that you can take to the marketplace. I think that it can be as long as the right things are in place from an infrastructure perspective. If we're talking about startups, internet access is like number one, right? internet access, which also then gets to electricity, right? So if you can provide consistent, high-speed, reliable internet access, then that's like the first thing, right? Um, a lot of what I hear from, from people um, that I know back home is like, that's not there yet. 
right? Internet access, high speed, consistent. It's not quite there yet. So it's very difficult for a software company um, today to operate without that, right? So I think that's one of the issues. Um, another one is just having the right business environment, right? Like how difficult is it to actually form a company, start it up and like, you know, get going. Um, I don't know the answer to that, but I know that it's, it's not as easy as here, right? So that's another piece that um, I think kind of needs to be there. Here, you, you have a laptop and you go to Starbucks, you can start a company. <laughs> I mean, you need a credit card, right? But you can, there's like very little that you actually need and you can do it very efficiently. You know, um, that's one of the things that has helped us be successful. I think you can look at um, some of the success that Kenya is having in the IT space um, to see some inspiration. Um, you know, I do think where there is not a culture of investing in businesses based on their, you know, not their your familial ties, but their um, just the strength of the idea, it can be helpful for the government to provide some base level of support. Um, but you know, some of what has been set up. Um, in terms of spaces where people can come together and work on those ideas that the Kenyan government has set up or that I think the U.S. has occasionally done, other governments have done, that can be very helpful um, in lowering the cost of people being able to pursue ideas. Fetaran him a peretatana, Anastenia, Yenig disrochen, and the Tinishiminic sound, Yemidek if palena, as the Sasseblemeft, Erkagilisep, Skatakomat, Perkatana Grita Pekapanad. Technology is a tenant of the Jach Lalu, a delusion with a ceramic a year. You said to turn a mic a bell sound, you meet a yik to lit Magambat. Online and a marach a mic a mat sound, you get Lisa Rapid Mika Pagutano. The best thing that government can do is to have a transparent process in, in creating a business, filing the paperwork. Um, that part of it's so important for business owners to know what steps to take getting out of their way and making it as easy as possible for them um, without creating unnecessary barriers for them to live out their vision. Core research, basic research, that's government. Uh, providing tax breaks, yeah. The only thing that government should not do is get directly involved in entrepreneurship. Government is the death of entrepreneurship because it, it won't accept that kind of a failure rate. Uh, they'll demand success and they'll keep, they'll throw money, good money after bad, because that's what governments do. Government should just operate on the periphery. You know, we'll, we'll give you tax breaks, we'll set aside a certain amount of land if you want to put your corporation. We'll educate, we'll pay for an institute of entrepreneurship at the university, that sort of thing. That's what government can do. But they've got to stay away from the actual process of entrepreneurship, startup companies, and all that, because they'll kill it. We all want to do great things. I think that that's naturally how we are as people. It doesn't matter whether we're in Ethiopia or Cuba, Colombia, United States. Um, and so I would say to, to, to your country, uh, give the children an opportunity by giving them a strong platform to thrive. Uh, give them a place to unleash that kindness, that goodness, uh, and, and let them unleash their potential. Uh, and it really does start with the family and it starts with education. Uh, and the more we do that across the world, the better our world will be.